Hello there and welcome to a new issue of the Indicator Spotlight. About once a month we feature an indicator from our NinaTrader 8 library. Short little video, about 10 minutes here today with a brief explanation of the main indicator concept, the most important functions and how you can use this in a trading setup along with a download link to the indicator that we're talking about. So this time around uh, we're featuring the FIBs from current day frequently discussed uh, are the Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci extensions. Uh, they refer to areas of uh, support and resistance that are calculated using the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, this is uh, credited to uh, Leonardo Fibonacci, an Italian mathematician from Pisa, who lived from uh, 1170 to 1250. General concept here is what's called the golden ratio which refers to uh, the 1.618 and its inverse 0 0.618. Fibonacci uh, noticed that these ratios can be found in uh, nature, architecture, art. Uh, for those of you who are interested in uh, photography, you'll be familiar with the rule of thirds. And um, for this indicator spotlight, uh, we won't really go into a lengthy discussion about uh, all the mathematical formulas behind the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, I think it's uh, sufficient uh, to know the basic uh, idea behind the concept uh, for trading purposes. All right, so uh, the Fibonacci uh, sequence uh, starts with uh, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. And so uh, each number here uh, the sum of the two prior numbers uh, equals the next. Uh, the sequence itself uh, contains many unique mathematical properties. So if a number is divided by the previous number, it will uh, approximate uh, 1.618. So uh, 34 over 21 here equals uh, 61, uh, 1.6190. 55 over 34 equals 1.6176, and so on. The further up we go uh, with the numbers here, the closer we will get to uh, uh, the uh, 1.618 uh, um, ratio. And um, if you divide uh, by the next number in the sequence, they will approximate the 0 0.618. So 21 over 34 equals 6176. 34 over 55 equals uh, 0 0.6181. And uh, again, the higher we go here, the uh, closer we'll get to the 0 0.618. And uh, that is, of course, the basis for the 61.8% retracement. If you uh, divide by another two places higher, we will uh, approximate uh, 0 0.382. So 13 over 34 here equals uh, 0 0.3823. And uh, 21 over 55 equals uh, 0 0.3818. And uh, again, the further up uh, we go here, the closer we will get to uh, the 38.2 uh, uh, retracement. And uh, if you also look at this, uh, if you t uh, take uh, 1 minus uh, 0 0.618, you will get to 0 0.382. So um, we can continue this, of course, uh, uh, dividing by another three places higher will approximate the 23.6 uh, uh, retracement. Uh, but I think you, uh, you see the, the main, main point here. And for trading purposes, uh, uh, these are used to uh, predict uh, the extent of a uh, uh, counter trend bounce, as we see here. Uh, this is a 15-minute chart of the Nasdaq futures uh, contract. And following this uh, downtrend here, uh, we're predicting the uh, extent of the counter trend bounces, as uh, mentioned. Uh, we first see a test here of uh, 38.2, and uh, then a test here of uh, 61.8. So it's easy to see how these can be used to uh, identify potential support and resistance levels. Uh, possible re-entry areas here for the downtrend. Um, Fibonacci levels, of course, then are found by measuring the distance between the uh, current day high 
and low and dividing the vertical distance by uh, the key Fibonacci ratios. So here we see uh, all the Fibonacci levels displayed. So we have 11.4, 23.6, 38.2, 61.8, 61.7, 76.6 uh, and 88.8. 50% is also included here, half of the range. Is of course, also interesting candidate to, uh, to consider when we're looking at uh, support resistance. In terms of Fibonacci, the most uh, used retracement levels are the 38.2 and the 61.8. And uh, that's also where we see the clearest uh, reaction to these levels. So a pause at uh, resistance here and here. Again, a 15 minute chart of the NASDAQ futures contract here, now displaying the prior Fibonacci levels. And uh, they are then looking at the highs and the lows of yesterday. Uh, Fibonacci extensions uh, come into play once a move retraces more than the 100% uh, of its uh, prior high-low, so a low breakout here. We first see a retracement here to the 61.8, um, and then a test of uh, yesterday's open, and um, then uh, pause at the low of yesterday before a definitive breakout here, a retest. And that's when these extension uh, levels uh, come into play. Uh, potential profit targets here at uh, minus uh, 138.2 and uh, minus 161.8 extensions. Of course, uh, extensions only come into play when the market has broken with the prior high or low and uh, when there's a lack of other clear support resistance levels. Uh, these uh, retracement and extension uh, levels should be combined with other indicators and price action scenarios. Again, a 15-minute chart of uh, NASDAQ here. Fibonacci levels uh, here created by the current uh, weak highs and lows. One option uh, of combining uh, this type of analysis is using volume spread analysis to identify uh, imbalances between supply and demand. If you're familiar with this line of thinking, uh, you already know how climax and churn bars can be used to identify when a pullback or a bounce is likely to have run its course. Um, there will be a follow-up tutorial video on uh, how you can do that using uh, Bloodhound from Shark Indicators. We're currently doing a, a little survey for our products and services. Uh, so as a favor, um, we'll ask you to fill out the survey and then uh, you will ha have access to the tutorial on how to uh, pull the data series from uh, the Fibonacci indicators and the uh, uh, better volume indicator, which is what we're using for uh, volume spread analysis here. And uh, there's more information on uh, how to fill out the survey towards the bottom of this post. All right, so the free download here today uh, is the uh, Fibonacci levels uh, from the current day. In uh, our uh, Fibonacci indicator category of the library, uh, we have a total of uh, nine Fibonacci indicators. And those include, uh, of course, FIBS from current day, current week, current uh, month, and current end months, as well as the uh, prior day, prior week, prior month and end months, as well as this uh, Fibonacci bands indicator here. So a total of nine Fibonacci indicators available for our members. The uh, library has a total of uh, about uh, 120 indicators now available for a one-time payment of uh, 150 bucks. And uh, as I said, the free download uh, today is located right here. All right, so with that, I'm going to wrap up the presentation. I appreciate you taking the time and tuning in. Leave me a comment on the video below here to give me some feedback. Thumbs up uh, would be greatly appreciated if you liked it, or if you pass it on to a trading buddy on Facebook, Twitter, or via email. Thanks again for checking in. Have a great week, and I look forward to hearing from you sometime soon.